Hi, I'm Keith Tebow, potato grower in Fort Fairfield, Maine. Welcome to Frontier Fields. We're a table stock potato farm, meaning fresh market. We, we, we ship to the East Coast in five, 10 pound bags and try to build the, build the best potato that we possibly can. We've indulged in the biologicals and biopath, along with other nutrients, build our crops. Hi, my name's Chris Denise from Burkhab Farms. I'm located in southwestern Ontario, a little village called Tupperville. Today we're going to go take a look with Amanda from Mosaic at our early peas and then our corn crop where we've applied some biologicals. Welcome to Frontier Fields Canada Edition. Here we farm a lot of vegetables, so we have tomatoes, peppers, squash, green beans, green peas, some edible white beans, and then we also grow wheat and corn. Farming in southwestern Ontario here, we have a sandy loam soil. We're kind of unique, we're also placed between two great lakes, so we have Lake Erie to the south, and we have Lake Huron to the north. And those bodies of water kind of mediate our temperature swings, so we don't have the great temperature swings in a 24-hour period. I like farming because there's always a new challenge. Every day it's something different, whether it be weather nature, a machine breaks down, or some new activity or new technology to try. My grandfather started the farm in 1961. His father and grandfather farm before him also. He started on a $2,500 car loan and planted 50 acres his first year. Now we're up to 320 acres. We plant brown whites and some yellows, and I also, I grow uh, some rusty seeds for my in-laws. It's been probably five years here now that we've been trying biologicals on the farm. When I first heard about it, you know, I'd have raised an eyebrow, but seeing is believing. I tried uh, multiple different ones, and we always landed back here at Biopath. Biologicals is something new that we're looking at on the farm this year. We've selected some biologicals to give some trials to to see if we can see some overall improvement. This year with new planter technology that we have, we have the capability of putting in liquid down with our corn programs. So that's basically just applying the biologicals with the seed at planting. There's also a biological that we're trying on our pea crop that was sprayed on with our 28 application after planting. And then three weeks later, we came back and applied another application using the drone. The corn that we're going to look at today was planted about four weeks ago. The corn is in an early two leaf, three leaf stage. So we're hoping to see some root differences on the roots around the seed and then see if we see some more nodal root development. With the bigger root mass, the plant will have more available nutritional uptake along with water uptake. So that's the benefit we're looking to see from the biologicals. So now we're just heading to the back of the home farm here to take a look at the biopath trial we did in the cornfield. Hi, I'm Amanda and today we're in southern Ontario looking at corn with biopath. What we're seeing here on the untreated versus the treated is a bit more denser root stock. Nodal roots here were seven in the treated versus five to six in the untreated. So many more nodal roots here in uh, the treated versus the untreated. The plants are looking pretty vigorous on the, the treated, I would say in comparison to the, the untreated. Yeah, we are seeing more nodal roots on the treated versus the untreated, but also noticing that the seed roots, the mass, the root mass coming out of the seed itself, we see more roots here in the biopath treated area than we are seeing in the untreated area. Yeah, that complements our fertilizer plant. That's just getting more nutrients out of the soil that are already there that wasn't unlocking for our plant to absorb. So you, with the use of Biopath, we can unlock those nutrients that are already there, just not plant available. Makes me feel that we have an advantage here with Biopath, so we'll monitor to the growing season and see what the final result is. Yeah, for sure. This is what we're seeing with Biopath applied in furrow and at the right time. Yeah, it's looking really good. We're out here with Amanda from Mosaic. Dig into the early emergence and see how things are looking. This is uh, the potato. The potato creates a sprout, and that's that's what essentially starts the plant. Through the eyes. Yeah, through the through the eye of the potato. When I first started hearing about biologicals and the sales pitch and all that, a lot of salesmen try to sell snake oil over the years, and uh, 
seeing seeing what's believing. It, we did a lot of trials on it, and now getting to see the see the end results there, it's been more than worth it. Mosaics put a lot of research and, and background into our biological line. How do you feel about that, Keith? I see it year and year out. With all the trials we've done, and see the the bigger root, the root masses there below, and more tubers per acre, more than pays itself back. We want to show you what the trials look like, good, bad, or indifferent. Thanks for coming out and joining us at Frontier Fields. Thanks for Amanda for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Amanda, thanks for joining me today to look at the pea and the corn crop today. Next time we're out here on Frontier Fields, we'll be able to see some corn just pre-tasseled.